Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! I'm tired of dancing, so I'm heading out. <laughs> what I'm gonna do here is first go over to Ushihara's house, and oh, look, 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 he's here! He's here, he's here, he's here! Woo! Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Ishihara. I'm a Pokemon card collector. I love collecting cards. I see you also love Pokemon cards. You know it! Please come see me again. We must trade some sometime. Oh, if you're playing with the cards, please read some of the books here. I believe they will be helpful. So, he doesn't have a card trade for us now, but he will have a total of three of them later, so... Come back here later, okay? Okay, and I already said you could check the books earlier. So anyway, my next destination! Pokemon Dome. There's some books here. Ah, first legendary Pokemon cards is level 37 Moltres. With Fire Giver, you can place fire energy cards in your hand! Also, Dive Bomb is a powerful attack. Grandmaster Courtney, the Fire Queen, owns this card. The second legendary Pokemon card is level 68 Zapdos. With a peal of thunder, just putting this card on the bench causes damage. Also, Big Thunder is a powerful attack. The Thunder Grandmaster Steve owns this card. The third legendary Pokemon card is level 37 Articuno! Its quick freeze will paralyze opponent's Pokemon when the card is put in play. Also, Ice Breath is a powerful attack! Grandmaster Jack, the Iceman, owns this card. He's the Iceman, not the Eggman, get it straight! The fourth legendary Pokemon card is level 41 Dragonite! Its healing wind will heal damage done to Pokemon when this card is played! Also, Slam is a powerful attack. Rod, the leader of the Grandmasters, owns this card. Courtney, Steve, Jack, and Rod, the four Grandmasters who defend the legendary Pokemon cards, are all master players of the Pokemon trading card game. And finally, there are a total of eight Master Medals owned by the Club Masters. It is said that the secret of their club's deck is encrypted in the Master Medals. Some say the medals were a gift from the Grand Masters. Ooh. So there's a PC over here, and you can also read this over here. Those in search of legendary Pokemon cards. Defeat the Masters of the eight clubs and attain the eight medals. Once attained, defeat the Grand Master here at Pokemon Dome. Then you shall inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. Oh no! Hi, Mark. What are you doing here? Yes, the legendary Pokemon cards will be inherited here at Pokemon Dome. Of course, I, Ronald, will inherit the cards. Hey, did you collect the medals? Well, not all of them yet. <laughs> Duh, that's pretty obvious. There's no way you could collect them all. Why don't you just give up? See ya! And he's gone. <laughs> he just came in to taunt me, I guess. Only those who have won eight Master Medals may enter the Grand Hall. You have not won all the Master Medals! Leave this place! Okay, calm down there. Just relax. I'll be back with the eight Master Medals, but I just wanted to show you that this place is here and show you Ronald and whatnot. And my next destination is actually going to be... The Fire Club. Yeah, the Fire Club. Why the Fire Club? Well, it just, it's just kind of neutral <laughs> in terms of typing for my deck. Greetings, welcome to the Fire Club. This is a club for boys with a burning passion for fire Pokemon. Fire Pokemon have the greatest attack power of all Pokemon. That is true, I believe. By the way, before you talk to a guy in the next room, what I want you to do is make a deck that's comprised of all the energy cards that you're not currently using. Yee except for one. <laughs> you'll, you'll see why in just a second here. Uh, and I guess I gotta fill it out with a bunch of stuff, just because I'll just mash everything in. Yes, fill it up with everything. <laughs> yes, everything I can <laughs> until I reach 60. Go, go, go. <laughs> and now I can save the deck. And save, and I'll call it... Ah! It's my ah deck, okay. So the reason why I wanted to do that was... Here, I'll show you, actually. I will... Uh, uh, save my game here, just so I can show you what will happen if you do this wrong. Hey, you build a lot of decks, you start to run out of energy cards. Please give me your energy cards! Give me all the energy cards that are in your deck! Give me! Give me! Give me all of them! No. You're so mean! It's okay, I'll ask someone else. Bye, meanie! And he's gone, never to return again. So that's the wrong way of doing it. Now I'm gonna do it the right way. Alright, I loaded for my save. Let's do this again. <laughs> so, I will give him the energy cards that are not currently being used in my decks, which are one. No, One. <laughs> wow, thanks! 
Since you are so nice, I'll tell you a secret. Check the wall. Two tiles left of the bookcase. You'll probably find something really nice. Thanks again! Bye! Two tiles left of the bookcase, huh? Hmm. Check the wall! This could be a reference to the Game Corner, the original Pokemon games, by the way, because it's a poster. Found the level 9 Slowpoke promotional card! <laughs> yeah! So, this is a Slowpoke that can actually attack, but it, it can't really do all that much. <laughs> it might be an alternative to the other Slowpoke, if that's your fancy, but they're much, much harder to come by, though. And uh, Amnesia can stall things out, like Pokemon that have uh, uh, only one attack, like say Machop's Low Kick. You can prevent it from attacking at all, forever, with Amnesia, so it's a decent stalling card. So yeah, got yourself a promotional card, yahoo! And I'm now going to dismantle my- Ah! ah, ah, ah Zach just put the cards back in their respective folders and whatnot. So, who should I talk to next? How about you? My friend, Ishihara, wants to trade cards. Why don't you go visit him sometime? I was just, just there. Come on now, man. <sighs> <sighs> anyway, you. Training's so boring and out of date. Why do I have to do it? Why me? I'm just got the fighting club. Fighting club? It looks like we found another fighting club member. Mark this down. Oh, he must be Mark. I heard about you from Mitch. Defeating you should be more the fun than training. Uh, I'm not going to duel her, but note it down. Note it down, one at the fire club, one at the grass club. Got it? Got it? Good. Uh, well, enjoy your training. <laughs> uh, I'm burning with the Pokemon Fever today! I think I'm going there. Alright, let's go up to... Oh man. Big time dramatic change in the whole atmosphere. I'm Ken, the Fire Club Master. So, you are collecting medals to inherit the legendary cards. You will need many cards in order to inherit the legendary cards. Hmm, it seems you have collected many cards. And let's begin our duel! No, actually, I'm gonna duel your flunkies first. <laughs> I don't know how many cards it takes to have in your collection to be able to duel him, but I, I just noticed that once you get up to so and so many medals, because, you know, you collect so and so many booster packs up to a certain point, you'll be able to. To battle him, but anyway, I'm gonna start with the uh, bottom guy, then go up here, then go up here, and then all the way up here. Got it? Good, okay. This is the Fire Club, where guys with a burning passion for Pokemon training cards get together for heated duels. Join the fiery fun! You bet! I would love to! So he's got the anger deck. <laughs> it, it sounds it's like it's gonna be lots of fury and pain, and well, it's it's really not. I mean, he, he his Pokemon's attacks go up in power depending on how much damage they have because it's got stuff like uh, Tauros's Rampage and and whatnot so yeah that's the idea of the whole rage deck is that the more damage his Pokemon have the uh, more damage he can dish out but that puts his Pokemon on the ropes and thus you know it isn't really practical for a game although he might just win this because I've only got just this one basic Pokemon matchup here, and he could plop out uh, Do Duel to completely resist my attacks and eventually wear my out. Oh, uh, I could get uh, Professor Oak with Computer Search. That would be pretty nice. You know, just in case I need it. But what does he have here anyway? He got Rattata, Do Duo, and Growlithe. Okay. I shall keep that in mind. Um. Well, first I'm gonna stall him out. <laughs> and Low Kick. I'm not gonna do, use the uh, computer search unless I absolutely need to, basically, because the computer search is a pretty valuable card, and it burns a couple cards to use it, so yeah. Let's see if I draw a basic. Uh, Rattata, that's not bad, I guess. Maybe I'll use computer search to pull out Eradicate, and eradicates my opponent. <laughs> and he's probably gonna use Flare, probably, maybe. Oh, no, you retreated. So... He's milk okay, fury attack then, right? Yeah, I figured. He's he switch probably to prevent Growlithe's inevitable demise to the hands of Machop, and probably to prevent damage to uh, you know just in general. So what I'm gonna do here is retreat to Rattata, and yeah, I suppose I'll computer search. I'll drop that and drop that for you there. 
something tells me I probably should have went for Professor Oak, but eh, we'll see how things go. <laughs> and Super Fang will do 30 damage. It's only his half to round it up to the nearest 10. Remember that? Remember that? Oh god! Oh god! This could- this is- this might not be good. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> yeah, that's the rage of his deck. Well, the strategy of his deck, I should say. Okay, let's plop that on there, and uh... Oh, I'm kind of in a bad spot. I probably should have went for a Professor Oak, shouldn't I? Well, we'll see how things go. I could either do Bite or Super Fang. Both will do exactly 20 damage. And... Hope for the best! <laughs> my opening hand wasn't really the best in all in my defense, so... Yeah. I just for Oh! Professor Oak! Yes! Yes! My savior! I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna use the fire energy card, because I might want to attach energy to something else. So we'll see about uh, stuff and stuff. Ooh, energy removal. Um, we'll do that. Oh, actually, no, 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 hold on. If I put Rattata on the bench, I can knock it out with Rattata, and he can't knock it out with any of his Pokémon, at least that I think, if I switch to it. So yeah, I'm gonna retreat to Rattata. I will... I... I got a mixture of Pokémon here that would use the energy cards in my hand. <laughs> I guess I'll do Lightning Energy, yeah, and then I'll focus on Magmar, because I think Magmar is more useful than uh, Magnemite overall, and now I'll use Energy Removal on uh, Rattata, so it doesn't turn into Eradicate of Doom, and then I will Bite to knock out Dodrio, and take a prize, Gust of Wind, very nice, I could use that to knock out that Growlithe on the bench, that would be pretty nice, uh, uh oh, uh oh, Mayday! Mayday! <laughs> it's gonna do exactly 30 damage with this. Well, that's unfortunate. Although I could, uh, potentially knock it out with the Machop if I got the Fighting Energy card, but I've got a Fire Energy card, so I'm just gonna play it safe with uh, Magmar. Yeah, I figured. I'm not playing to be lucky. I'm playing with the cards that I have, basically. <laughs> so, okay, I'm gonna try and stall him out here because he definitely has the advantage over me this game. At least so far, because I haven't really been able to get much ground on him. Uh, just how things have been going with my between my opening hand and uh, the lack of proper energy cards. That's why I like having a one or two uh, energy type deck. Mm. Alright, let's put that on you and continue to smoke screen. I kind of it would be kind of nice to have a, another fire energy card for smog, just to, you know, get a poison and whatnot. Oh, and by the way, I'm feeling a whole lot better than I did the other the, the, the other day I recorded two days ago. Um, congestion has mostly been eradicated. The, uh, I guess you could say that my ears popped where it was all feeling all full and... And yeah, you know how that feeling is when you're really congested. And I'm also not coughing nearly as much as you can probably tell in the video as well. Uh, I'll put Onyx on the bench. So yeah, I am feeling fantastico. <laughs> and he's probably going to use a Super Fang, just because it's going to do a little bit more damage. But he might not, and he might attack. And if he does attack, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up uh, knocking out Eradicate because of the poison on my next turn, or on a, of an attack if he full healed it or something like that. But no, he decided not to. That's fine by me. I am going to... I guess another Machop would be fine. Um, if I get a Poison Coin Flip with Smog, I'll knock out Rattata. Ah, such a shame! <laughs> this is not my game, is it? <laughs> That's alright. Oh no! Oh no! He's gonna be down the one prize card! Boy, this game is really working in his favor, isn't it? <laughs> Alright. Magnemite, I guess. It's my only hope. <laughs> uh, I don't think he can dish out 40 damage with any of his Pokemon. Though I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> with the, like, the duel is going here. Alright. Thunder Wave will most certainly knock him out regardless if I paralyze him or not, so the coin flip doesn't matter in the slightest. 
Alright, let's grab an energy card, hopefully- Yeah! <laughs> oh, please, please don't knock off my little mite! Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh, okay. <laughs> he just switched to Cubone because it's got the resistance and stuff. Um, I could knock out Raticate if I wanted to. Uh, it seems like he's low on energy, actually. Hmm. But I'm probably better off stalling him out. Like, just, you know, just paralyzing him. Because his, uh, it takes two energy cards to do the rage attack, so that... It seems a little safer having it out instead of the Ratfink there. Because, mm. you know, Ratfink is already powered up the... Wait, ah, ah, Oh, wait, what am I... Yeah, well, kind of to an extent. Um... Ah, ah, so many decisions, so little time. Paralyze it, please, thank you. It won't do any damage because it has lightning resistance, but it will paralyze it, so that's what I'm going for here. Okay, oh god. Please no. Please no. Okay, I gotta do something. Okay, plus power. And I can't even explode Magnemite because, <laughs> because I have the issue of... He's only got one prize card left and I have two. Oh yeah. So, okay, Rage does 10 damage plus... Okay, so he can't knock out Magnemite with Cubone. <laughs> uh, what? Maybe I should make him switch to Tauros just to stall him out. Because of his uh, high retreat cost. Uh, but if he gets double colorless energy, Magnemite could be toast. Well, double colorless plus the, uh, another plus power. Ah! Such confusion! Eh. I wonder if I should switch to something, but I, I can't attack with anything, because I only have the lightning energy. <laughs> I guess I'll try a gust of wind to eradicate and hope for the best. Here we go! It's gonna knock off eradicate, so the coin flip didn't matter, and we are going to see... Energy removal, that's very nice. Okay. So, grab up to the bench. And snivel, okay. So he doesn't have the energy cards of power up Cubone. That's good to know. Very good, okay. This could be the card I needed, Professor Rogue. But first, let's get things set up here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna wipe out that. It's the only thing. Uh, I'd play that, but... Uh, I don't really have... Well, you know what, maybe I'll, what I'll do is this, and hope I get a, a fighting energy card. This is going on a blind run here. You can use a plus power just to maximize the damage that I'll do. And then, here we go! Fighting energy, fighting energy, fighting energy, and preferably another plus power! Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see what we got here. No, that's very unfortunate. Alright, so... I probably... Probably want to switch out to Magmar, obviously, but it's a matter of when should I switch out. Should I, should I switch out now and potentially risk an energy removal? Or should I uh, uh, switch out to Magmar next turn? I'm thinking next turn. Hopefully I won't regret this. <laughs> but we'll see, I guess. Uh, that's not really going to be helpful. I mean, he will be able to snivel, but, you know, it's not anything that he can do damage with. Uh, fire energy. Okay, I'm going to keep holding it, holding off here, because he doesn't have fighting energy. That's good. Uh, double colorless, the Tauros. That's, that's not pretty. <laughs> Alright. I definitely would like to have Machop on reserve, plus power, very nice. Uh, just in case of uh, Tauros popping in, because, you know, the double damage thing. Alright, here we go. Smog, poison, 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 poison. Dang it. <laughs> well, he's probably gonna end up switching to uh, Tauros anyway. Just because it's a more. Oh god, Professor Oak. Oh man, things are really going in his favor this game. <laughs> oh man. He's powering up. The bully. Oh, what, 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 what? What? You, you didn't switch? Are you crazy? 
I mean, I suppose Snivel does prevent Magmar from doing damage, but still, if I were to switch to one of my bench Pokémon, like, say, uh, Machop, like I got an Energy or something like that, uh, see, Snivel, if the defending Pokémon attacks, so it only affects the Pokémon that you currently have out when that Pokémon uses Snivel. So, if I were to switch, it would nullify the effects of Snivel, and that's how I was able to use Smog on the last turn. But, if I get a coin flip, on my plus power, that's a heads, I win the game. <laughs> should I go for it? I think I should go for it. Please, heads? No! <laughs> this is gonna come down to the wire, because he's gonna switch. Oh no. Oh no! That's gonna be painful! Oh! <laughs> 30 damage. Oh boy, okay, full of heal. Hmm. Wait, 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 why am I not? I mean, why did I forget about Gust of Wind? Gust of Wind! To Cubone! I win! I win! I win! <laughs> that was a pretty hard earned victory right there. Woo! I'm sweating bullets at the fire club. I should turn down the air conditioner. Yeah, that was really hot. You're the greatest. Here, let me give you this. Let's heat it up again. Why do they have torches indoors anyway? <laughs> Evolution booster pack. Pidgeotto. It's kind of an offsetting card. I think you've seen that one before. You've seen that. Ooh, super potion. Jinx, ba da ba da, boop ba doop ba doo, gust of wind, very nice. Uh, Alright, oh, did you see the Jigglypuff? It brings Pokemon to your bench and does a little damage and prevents a little damage? No, you have. <laughs> Let's see, another Pidgeotto, wow. And they're both rare cards, by the way. See the star on the side of the picture there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, da da da, oh, Pokemon Flute. This is a rather interesting card. You can. Combine this with Gust of Wind to knock out Pokémon uh, on the bench. Um, you know, that, that would normally be safe in the discard pile, if, as it, I guess you could call it. Uh, oh, look at that! Gust of Wind and Pokémon Flute in the same booster pack. Right after I mentioned the combo. Okay, we're done here. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part. So happy! Congestion has subsided for the most part. Ah, can breathe through nostrils again. The simple pleasures in life.